Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. How about we finish up the Escalade, get it out front lot for sale, and get it flipped. Before we do, just a few small issues. The HID needs to be uh, replaced on this. The projector light, it uh, goes on and off, and as you can see, it's, it's really dull. So we need to lay that headlight forward, twist out the bulb, and get it replaced. There are two uh, 10 millimeter bolts up top and then there's a clip down below and we should be able to easily lay it forward just far enough to get the bulb replaced and swapped out. I always have my magnetic tray nearby so we don't lose any screws or bolts or any parts when we're taking things apart and they don't roll away or fall down in between the cracks and crevices of your automobile. Just gently lean that headlight forward and there's plenty of room to twist out the HID and swap out for the new one. And that's all there is to it, piece of cake. We have a nice bright headlight again. The vehicle's safe, it'll pass inspection. And that's the goal, to make everything safe and, and everything uh, on the vehicle works and functions. Here's one more thing we need to address, and that's the backup rear view camera. And it, it comes on, it, it works for a certain amount of time. There might be some interference with wiring, uh, who knows? But uh, before replacing it, there are things you need to check upon first, uh, which may make it easier to diagnose the problem to begin with. Here's the camera itself back here, right below the emblem on the rear hatch. Places you want to check before replacing the camera unit itself, there's a module right underneath the passenger seat that controls it. The wiring goes back through the back of the vehicle into the hatch. You can remove this plastic covering or panel and check the wiring there or replace the camera. After we're done, we're going to take it outside and give it one final wash before putting it up for sale. I've been using the Escalade to make sure everything is working properly. No dash lights are popping on and off. It is a solid vehicle once again. I have been experimenting with the DIY Detail product line and we're gonna play with the Incredible Suds today. I'll share that experience with you first. Uh, we'll break it down, put a little bit in the foam cannon or foam lance and we'll also put some in the contact wash bucket itself. Uh, two to three ounces in the lance will produce very thick shaving cream like foam that will dwell and hang on your vehicle, help break down, lift and emulsify grit and dirt.
No need to be in a hurry. This stuff is tenacious. It'll give you a good four, five, six minutes to walk around with your soft detailing brush and work some of the corners and the edges and cracks and crevices loose of dirt that has been packed in there from you know days, weeks, or even years of sitting. This stuff is pleasant to work with, has a nice, decent odor or scent to it. Rinses free with no problems whatsoever. And out of the foam cannon, this has given me a great head start before the contact wash, freeing the front of it from bug splatter, uh, the sides, and around the back from grit that could get caught between the wash media itself and the surface of your vehicle. And when you go scrubbing on it, that's what gives it, uh, that's what causes the love marks, marring, and scratching, and swirls. Two to three ounces of the incredible suds in your contact wash bucket will, hey, it'll give you plenty of suds to work with, a ton of lubrication, and you can feel that in the wash mitt as it glides across the surface of your vehicle. The Escalade is squeaky clean once again, and it will not harm your wax, your sealant, or your coating. It's a pH neutral shampoo. I will share my experience with the rest of the DIY detailing product line that I have here already in an upcoming video. We have the Escalade inside, we're drawing it off. It looks absolutely fantastic.
Time to tally up the expenses. The vehicle itself purchased from the auction for $6,500. We did the tune-up and replaced some bolts in the manifold, $400. We did the ground cable from the block to the firewall, $14. We replaced the mirror. It was about $54 or so. And we're going to get it out front for $11,000, grand, And almost, almost double our money and move on to the next flip vehicle. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. We'll catch you in the next video.